every 12 year old for Nick is one of the Disney adults and he's brought me into that rap. I'm not a Disney adult. That's You're a sounds. Disney adult. I don't think that sounds like <laughs> something I want. I need you to speak up, okay? Shh, I, I whisper. All right, what is going on guys? My name is Dan. <laughs> You're so annoying. What? My name is Dan, again. What's your name? Nick. Great. There you go, I got it out. And welcome back to another episode of Little King Life. Um, do you want to show them yours? Go, come on, get up and model. That's a model? I can't model the cameras. You guys get to see mine. Mine's. My, this is my favorite shirt out of our collection. It's like, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> it's the patch, um, it's embroidered, it's pretty. My little it goes live October 1st, right? So, what are we doing today? Q&A, we did a Q&A thingy on our Instagram story and we got a lot of questions. Today we're live from the treehouse. Um, which I don't think we've ever done a, a video from our treehouse, but for a little backlit, it's fine because I absolutely love like the nice ethereal moment. Pick some questions so here. we're gonna go around, pick some questions that were submitted. I love the drum roll. Yeah. Uh, and we're just gonna start. <laughs> drum roll. Why, why are you so? It's a drum roll. You gotta puff your cheeks up so it works better. <laughs> What's your goals for the future? It's a big question. That is a huge question. The future, we have some goals, but I don't think we have a, a specific timeline for them. I just. Yeah, like. Uh, I mean, the career stuff. There's no, I think like eventually get married, have kids at, at some point in the very distant future. Responsibility is not something I'm looking for at this moment. You heard it from you heard it here, folks, from him. I didn't say anything. Can you move on? Do you like stage performers? If so, what kinds? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I saw Cat in the, the once. <laughs> I really like musical theater. Nick and I took a trip to New York City back in 2016 with his cousin and his cousin's now wife. And we watched Aladdin on Broadway. Yeah, and my cousin has really bad eyesight, so he couldn't see any of it. And his wife kept getting mad at him for falling asleep. And I was like, uh, I don't think he can see anything. <laughs> He's asleep because he can't actually see the play. It's just blurriness to him. And she was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna stop waking him up. <laughs> <laughs> to finish that question, I do really like stage performers. I, I really like musical theater. One of my favorite ones that I've watched in recent times is Moulin Rouge. I am going to see Hades Town. Um, I do have like a soft spot for cabaret, not only the musical, but like cabaret overall. What are your favorite dates you have planned for each other? Dates? Like planned dates? Nick doesn't plan. First Nick of all, I plan more than Dan. Dan's never planned anything. Please. Uh, we have a lot of dates planned for to Disney. We planned lots of dinner dates for Disney. <laughs> all the amusement parks, all the good restaurants. So that'll be fun soon. We'll have to try and vlog some of that, but within reason, because we still just want to run around and have fun too. I mean, I'd be a 12 year old. for Nick is one of the Disney adults and he's brought me into that rap. I'm not a Disney adult. That's You're a sounds. Disney adult. I don't think that sounds like <laughs> something I want to be. Um, would y'all ever make a trip all the way down to south, all the way down south to San Antonio, Texas? I don't know. I think like we like to travel a lot. So once things open back up and stuff, we, I know we've talked about going, like doing a little road trip in the United States, haven't we? Maybe. I'm sure we'll get there someday, honestly. Maybe for work even. How are both of you so cute? We aren't. It's all the cameras. Yeah. What you see here. Yeah. Like all the makeup that I have. When it on. rains, mm -hmm. we turn into gremlins, actually. Yes. Or actually, I think it's just no, when the, feed us. Just when the when camera feed light it. turns off. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what, it is, yeah. <laughs> what attracted you to each other? Oh, I'm interested to hear this one. I don't know. It's a tough one. I'm interested. He had like a goatee back then. I did. It was bad. I told him he had to I'll shave. I'll show you a picture. <laughs> the I told him we had, he had to shave it before I could even continue a conversation there. It didn't work for him. I <laughs> that's so embarrassing. <laughs> But that's that's something they're asking what attracted you to me, not what didn't attract you to me. I don't know. It's not. What attracted you to me? It's not that simple. I don't have a direct answer. My, what I attracted what attracted me to Nick, I think initially was just our friendship. I think the fact that like 
him and I talked every day. We just communicated and it was really easy to talk um, to him like about everything. So it was nice. He has very stretchy skin. Oh yeah, he likes my complexion. What you love about each other? Um, first questions are way too hard. You make my brain hurt. Um, well, what I love about him is that he is pretty loyal. He's very loyal. How was it when you two first became a couple? Any struggle or challenges? Yeah, I know we were not really a couple. We were kind of a couple, so it's like kind of long distance. And then he moved here, and it was pretty tough because he had to get a job and like basically he was like reinventing his whole life because he moved from Denver to Boston. Um, that was pretty challenging. Uh, and then there's also just like the merging of two people and uh, we had some different ideas. We still have many different ideas actually. There's always gonna be a challenge in a relationship guys, always. How do you stay inspired on what to post slash create? It's super, super hard actually. So if you have ideas, please share because it's really hard and then half the time we end up fighting about what to post and create and then that like drains all of the inspiration and then you have to recover and then you try and think of what to film again um it's really hard i think it's probably even though you butt heads and fight doing the two people it's definitely easier with two people because you can sort of like riff off of each other how old are you <gasps> 22 nick is forever 22 i will answer honestly i am almost 28 I turned 28 on October 21st. I'm 30. We're gonna just get it out there. Uh, have you flown in a glider before? I am a glider pilot. Nope, but we were just watching some fly in front of the lake house today. We have not flown in one though. I was actually saying I wanna get my pilot's license because I think that would be cool. And Dan said he wouldn't trust me to fly a plane. So I'll be flying alone. Boyfriend applications for Dan if it doesn't work out. <laughs> What do you love to do together if it's a nice, sunny, and clear sky day? Oof, today is a very nice, sunny, and clear sky day, and it's got that like that slight fall chill to the air when the wind blows, and I would actually just really like to take a nap. Um, but the jet ski's nice, hiking is nice. I uh, really love to go for a drive in one of the cars and just cruise around through the mountains. That's probably one of my favorite activities. Find a really good coffee shop, have a relaxing breakfast. Dan, what about you? Um, I, what do I like to do? Kind of basically the same thing. I like to, um, go like shopping or just like go out and walk around, um, and get boba tea because I love boba tea. What's your fitness journey? Have you always had abs? I actually did not always have abs. I was never like, I was always like pretty lean, but it, I, I feel like I took me until I was like, I want to say like 23, 24 to figure out how to get abs. Abs are really hard. Uh, I think it's mostly diet, like for me anyway, like some people it's a little easier because they're thinner, but it's a big time diet thing for me, how I eat. I, think, I try to like plan my meals, do some well, intermittent fasting. What's your most favorite slash least favorite thing about one another? <sighs> most favorite slash least favorite. Short temper is least favorite. Most favorite is when he is like happy and high energy and he has like yippee moments, he's a lot of fun. I think those things might go hand in hand though. <laughs> um, so uh, personality stuff, I guess. Um, my most favorite thing is when he is like, he's being like very creative and imaginative. He like, he's a person that has all these big plans and he likes to share those and he's very excited about those. Um, so like a quick example of that is like he likes to, he wants to build a, a barn dominium is what we call them on that later, but he's been really excited. He really gets excited when he talks about that. Um, and my least favorite thing is that he is a stubborn old goat. He cannot like, he cannot deal with other people telling him what to do. It's one to no one. <sighs> Why did does Nick talk like a four-year-old? I'm not always, and not normally anyway. It's kind of just a video thing. It's it's like a comedy skit, but not all of them. Man, this, these are harsh. As soon as I start reading them, they get harsh, jeez. But who gets to choose what you watch? We feel like that's a joint effort, what we watch. 
Yeah, it's pretty even. Who is going to propose? I don't like to think that far ahead. It's probably gonna be him, if you want me to be honest, because he doesn't like surprises. How long have you two been together? Six years as of last month. A very long time. August 28th. Yep. Are you teaching him Spanish? Remember that temper we were talking about earlier? Last time we tried to have him teach me Spanish, he kept getting angry at me. It didn't work that well. It's then... because he makes a joke out of everything. So even if you're seriously trying to teach him Spanish, he's not actually learning. He's just making use of your time inadequately. I'm making it fun. Okay. What is your favorite place you have traveled together? Hmm. I really liked Ibiza and... Uh, the French Riviera probably was one of my favorite trips. Yeah. Um, Although Disney was pretty fun last time. My favorite vacation really was the French Riviera. Like whenever we went, we went to Nice, Cannes, Monaco, and Paris. And that was like a dream come true. So I loved it. Do you have any insecurities? Mm, yes. And uh, I, I feel like insecurities are like something that like I think of like when I was younger, I had insecurities and then those went away and then you get new ones. Um, I'm gonna just be so you don't notice any of them. Uh, <laughs> Dan, how about you? Yes, many. Um, I could give you the laundry list, but I guess one um, that is very, very short and sweet are that have I've always had it, are my teeth. So I'm working on fixing them though. Have you guys ever had a big fight? Uh, once a week, at least. <laughs> we we definitely argue a lot. How did you know you were gay? That is tricky. I actually dated girls all through college and, and didn't really think about it too much. And then it was like towards the end of college that I decided to try guys too. Um, I, I consider myself bi, so I, I don't know. It just sort of like happened I don't, and I just sort of went with it. Um, I didn't really think about it that much, I guess. It just was a, a thing. Uh, for me, retrospectively, whenever I was uh, like, I don't know, like seven or eight. Like I remember like re retrospectively looking back how like I looked at men and everything, what attracted me. Like I kind of like found more of an attraction to men than women. Like women were like my tribe, whereas men were something I was attracted to. But I didn't really realize or come to realize that fully until high school. And I did date a girl once, which we all know how that ended. What are your favorite hobbies individually? Um, I mean, cars are an individual hobby. He like kind of sits in the passenger seat sometimes, but that's probably one of them. And then snowmobiling. He does not like snowmobiling. It's too cold for him, but I love snowmobiling. I mean, family and friends will go out and you put on a backpack and you race through the woods and you stop at a hotel for the night and then you race through the woods more and you eat lots of good food. It's one of my favorite hobbies that and doing a similar thing in my car, but he likes to join for the car ones because it's not cold. Um, Dan? Um, I like video games. I like drawing. I like um, like art really is kind of something that I like to do individually. Dancing is something that I really love to do um, as you probably all have seen, so. Does Nick shave his armpit or does he just, he just doesn't grow it? Okay, this is a question or a comment that I think we get at least three or four times a week on our videos. <laughs> I do shave my armpits, but like once a month. Um, it, usually when people say that in the videos, they're not shaved. It, I think it's like I have fine, like lighter colored hair. So I don't, I guess like the light in the camera doesn't pick it up that well. OnlyFans? No. No, no OnlyFans. No guys, I'm sorry. We're not, we're not the type. Yeah. But I'm very flattered that you that you would like to see me that way. Yep. So I'm flattered, but no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, not, not at this point or... Oh, at this or, point. Or probably any point. Oh, okay. We have professional lives. <laughs> I don't think we could pull that one off. What does the white one talk? Why does the white one talk like a baby and slow? I can talk really fast if you want. I'm really... I think I probably talk really fast more in real life than I talk slow. Um, it actually drives Dan in insane because I do talk really fast sometimes but uh he I, like talks so fast that the speed at which he's talking <laughs> sounds like he's mumbling no he yeah. mumbles uh but I don't know it's it's honestly for those tiktoks it's it's just like a silly skit it, it's not like I'm not a toddler I can confirm that he is very much a grown-up when the cameras are off 
do you see living at the lake full time? We like to visit the lake and enjoy it in the summers. Um, that, no is the short answer. It's it's a family home that I grew up in, so it's nice up here, but also it gets tiring and sometimes we want some space too. Um, so definitely not full time. We do want to build another house slash like fancy garage for me to tinker with all my cars in. Still wouldn't live there full time though. Um, we'll see what the future holds, but not the lake full time, I don't think so. It, it's fun to have as like a weekend thing. How comfortable are you guys with PDA? Situational or you just don't care? Uh, situational, I, I it's not that, I don't know. You hate I, PDA, you hate PDA. That's, yeah, I don't really like, I hate when like any people in front of me doing PTA, PDA, it's like, Mm -mm. I just like we're not I don't the, love it we are not the type well I think I would be more more prone to be the type um, than Nick but like it is there it is true that there's like a certain degree of like like motion like being on top of one another we um, have been around people who are legitimately on top of one another even like family settings like they like sit on each other's lap and, and like laying on someone's lap and, and then like, like a 20 person setting like on cat. top of each other it's just it's yeah. almost kind of like okay we get it like but in terms of like pda like randomly like uh, like a random pack or anything like we do that we it's just very situational like it happens yeah why little king life what's the story behind that is there a story um how about i answer this one since it's yeah it's not it like a for me. huge story but... so um <laughs> my first name is harold for those of you who don't know, Harold means it's a Germanic name that means commander of armies. And I was just like, I'm not going to only be a commander. I'm going to be a king. So I, whenever I first signed on to Instagram and made my um, handle, I named myself Little King Dan. And then Nick was uh, like, I, Nick was then turned his own one into Little King Nick. And then whenever we decided to make a joint account, well, I changed mine after we made a joint account. So all three was match. So we yeah. made Little King Life because I like the Little King thing. And then we were like, well, how can we make that like a group thing and Little King Life? And that's like, why well, I should change mine to Little King Nick so it matches. And uh, that's it. And Little because of my stature. Okay. Four. Okay, Ari. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What are your workout routines? Okay, so I'll do like a quick as possible rundown of this. We try to exercise four days a week. It's like an alternating schedule. So we'll do like arms, legs, then in the middle day where we'll do like things we want a little extra effort on and then um, arms again. And then the next week it would go legs, arms, middle day where we mix and match and then legs again. And, and on legs day, there's also chest and abs. Um, in the middle day, there's almost always abs. And then I'll try to like run sometimes. Um, and then for diet, I try to like do days where I'll have like a light meal day with like just smoothies and yogurt and stuff. I, although dinner is always a big meal. Uh, that's the, the general. That's the gist of it. How many countries have you been to? Uh, well, I guess we can answer this separately because you've been to other countries that I haven't been to. Yeah, I'll count while you do that. Colombia, Mexico, France, Spain, the UK. I think that's it. Oh, and Canada, six. Six countries. Uh, I'm trying to count. I got to 12, so at least 12. Um, Which ones? Oh, no, I think I like 14 now. Oh. Which ones? Okay, Italy, Spain, Belize, uh, the UK, Canada, um, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. What else am I missing? Bahamas. Oh, Aruba. I missed Bahamas, so that's seven. Um, I went with him. Uh, I, that's the ones that are in my head at the moment. He's a very, like, he is like, he's a traveler for sure. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Before that, we we need to do the shout out. Our shout out for today is after random selection in our comments, it's going to be Michael Clark. Thank you so much for watching your videos, for your subscription. We love you and we hope you have an amazing, amazing week. Um, and that is it for the video, you guys. Yes. Thank That's you so much. Don't forget to shop up Little King Life Apparel coming October 1st, littleking.life. Tell them what they need to do next. Like, subscribe, follow us here. We're on TikTok, Instagram, uh, technically on Twitter, although we don't use it. And obviously subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love you. Bye. Ah.